This is to help you write your hypothesis for your science fair project. So what is a hypothesis, right? So this is the sign language for hypothesis. This is the letter H. Uh, and then you rub the letter H on your head because you're thinking about um, a possible answer for your question, right? So your hypothesis is uh, an answer to your question. Uh, so uh, your hypothesis is a statement you make before you do your experiment that describes what you think will happen. That's why you're thinking about it this way. Okay. Uh, our hypotheses are often wrong and that is okay. So it's basically like an educated guess. After your experiment, you will see if your data supports or contradicts your hypothesis. So it's fine if you don't know the answer to your inquiry question, uh, but um, your guess is like your hypothesis, right? But more than just a guess, uh, it should be backed up by some reasoning on how you understand uh, your project. So your prediction, uh, which is also your hypothesis, is what you think will happen. It refers to the independent and dependent variables. Uh, it's based on evidence, right? So a description of why you made your prediction. Uh, you should use sources such as books, magazine, magazines, the internet, or other lab reports and experiments. So it's just more than a guess. It is somewhat an educated guess. Um, it is a prediction with evidence. So uh, since you are using evidence, make sure to cite your sources. Where did you get your evidence? So the format of writing a hypothesis is like this, right? If I, so here's an example, increase or decrease my independent variable, we have to put your, your variables in your hypothesis again. So if I increase or decrease my independent variable, the dependent variable will increase or decrease depending on what you think will happen because, and you'll have reasons with information and citation of sources. Okay, so for example, with Mr. Koenig's um, science fair project. So Mr. Koenig's hypothesis would look something like this. If, and this is before Mr. Koenig, um, does his project, right? This is before he waters his plants. If I increase the amount of water, the height of the plant will increase, right? So that's part of his hypothesis. And then he adds a because, which has some reasoning in it, right? And he is using the TCI textbook, right? So he did some research and according to the TCI textbook, he says, because according to my TCI textbook on page 12, plants use water and sunlight to create food they can use to grow. Therefore, if there's more water, then the plant can create more food and will grow more. So that is a very sound hypothesis because he talked about his independent variable. He talked about his dependent variable. He has a guess of what the outcome will be before he did his experiment. And then he backed it up with evidence of uh, what plants use, right? According to a source, according to, and he chose a textbook, right? So that is a hypothesis. Now try doing your own hypothesis, your own prediction with evidence for your science fair project.